Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the top reinforcing at the discontinuous edge. So, back to remind you where we're at, slab 2, the discontinuous edge, the slab discontinues along that edge there. Okay, so we, I've just redrawn it here. As you can see, we are looking only at the LX. So we're going to only be looking at the X component, and the reason is, is because only at that discontinuous edge, at the top edge, we're going to have the reinforcing like this. So all we need to find is this spacing. All right, so we don't even need to worry about finding the LY component because we just need to know this spacing which spans the LX side. So, spanning LX, we go to our code and we go to 6.10.3.2 section C and it says in this section the negative design bending moment at a discontinuous edge where there is a likelihood of restraint is 0.5 times the mid span value okay so all we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the area of steel we need is equal to 0 0.5 times the area of the mid span and this is in the x direction so this is for x so in, a, in the previous video, in the previous a couple of videos back, we found that for phi mx greater than m star x, we found that the area we needed was 619. So we're going to be doing 0 0.5 by 619, which gives us a value of around 309 millimeters squared per meter. We need to check that against our minimum area requirements. So the minimum area requirements is 338 millimeters squared per meter. So this is less than 338, which means we need to take the area of steel to be 338, because the absolute minimum is 338 millimeters squared per meter. We can then find our spacing, which will equal the area of one N12 bar, 113 millimeters squared, on top of the, the value we just found, 338, times by the uh, unit length of a section, one meter or 1,000 mils. Uh, to work this out, we'd get around 334 millimeters. Now we need to check that against